Hey everybody, it's Angie again. Um, bringing you uh, more of the jewelry. This time I'm gonna bring you from Swamp Pickers lot that I won from the MSP auction. This has been a few weeks back and then from Deb's treasures that I won. So what I have is um, all of the, let me see, four people watching. Let me see if I can get the chat up. Not going to do what I did yesterday. So I'm not going to have any big delays. I'm just going to do it like I did it before. So I know what, what I'm doing. Is, and I'm going to um, mute that. But I'm I got you over here. Hi, kitty cat. Hey, Darlene. Um, so what I've got, let me see if I can show you this, kind of. Because I'm going to pick up my laptop. Okay, over here I've got swampy stuff, and over here I've got Deb's treasure stuff. So I don't know if this is going to work, but like I'm going to tilt this down and show you. So over here is swampy stuff, but it's not all of it. But it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna like alternate. I'll show you a piece of swamps, show you a piece of Deb's treasures. Okay, get ready. <laughs> swampy stuff. Oh, can you see? Can you see all that? I don't know if you can see that or not. Swampy stuff. Deb's treasure stuff. Some of it. Ah! <laughs> so that's why I put... That's not even... I, I have... Okay. Okay, I confess. I have stuff under my bed. I have like, stuff under my bed now. Jewelry under my bed. <laughs> Hi, Sandra Aguirre. Hi, Hetty. Hi, Bethany. Oh, Bethany, how are you? Just a lover of jewelry. Hi, Delinda. Okay, so I'm going to get started. First, I will pick from Swamps, and I'll show you one piece of his. I think I'm going to, in case you guys just get like, blah, after a while, I think I'm going to try to pick out the really cool pieces first to show you. Um, but they're all, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Wait, is this Deb's? Did I get this mixed up? Oh, I did. Swampy stuff's over here. Deb's treasures is over here. Uh. Or I, yeah, yes. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I, I know what it is when I show it to you. This is Deb's treasure stuff. This is a sterling silver uh, cuff bracelet that was in Deb's treasures um, auction bag that that I won. It came in a big priority box. It was about this big. And I mean, it was heavy, heavy. And uh, so I noticed right away this had some writing on it inside there somewhere. But I did, I did notice it was in there. And a little tile here, right along this rim here, it was marked. So, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. A little cuff, sterling cuff. Hey, real lick day. Hi, Ode. Oh, Ode, I'm so sorry I haven't got back to you. Things have just been crazy. Um, and, yeah, I really like this. I love that, that it's curvy. I love that it's kind of got a little hammered look to it, too, but it's simple. And that's really nice. So that was one of the nice things in Deb's uh, lot. Um, well, I think I got her stuff mixed up with Swampies, as a matter of fact. So here's one of Swampy's things, which I thought was pretty cool. I never saw a closure like this before. I'm still, like, mystified by it. And as I look at it, I'm like, how did I go again? But it's a big, heavy uh, bracelet, real chunky. And this closure is just so strange. Um, and it's marked. I forget what it's marked on there. Uh I should have brought my thing over, but it, it does have it does have a signature and stuff on it. Right there, it's got a, a maker's mark, and I think it goes like uh goes like this, like that, and then. And then this big this safety thing comes over on here, 
safety thing comes over and clips somewhere, but it's really, it's really like intricate the way it, the way it all hooks together, and it's, it's really cool. Hey, Monica B, how are you? <clears throat> hey, Cherry. <coughs> so that was one of Swampy's things I really liked. I'm going to start putting stuff in there. Okay, that was one of the Debs, one of Swampies. One of Debs again, and I have sold this before, so I was glad to get one of these again. This was out of Deb's uh, bag. So I think I sold this in my Etsy shop for around, I want to say, over $40, I think. I can't remember. It's been a while back. It's like a really cool starfish uh, um, cuff, open cuff. It's really nicely made and uh, bumpy, bumpy starfish. Oh, you should be cleaning house, but nah, I don't blame you. <laughs> I do not blame you. Uh, I'd rather look at jewelry any day than clean house. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. What did I do with that? Oh, <laughs> so I was talking to Deb, Deb's treasures, Debbie, uh, about the, the box that she sent and stuff. And she said, I predict there's going to be a big diamond in there. And I'm like, cool. Did you see something in there? Maybe she saw something. Maybe, maybe she's like, you know, twisting the bag around and saw something in there. And I'm like, oh, I, I, can't, I can't wait to get it now. Uh, <laughs> look what was in there. She put that in there. She bought that and put it in there. <laughs> Debbie. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Marie. Hey, Christy. Isn't, wasn't that clever of her to do that? <laughs> so that was funny. That was funny. Totally funny when I got that out of there. Thank you, Debbie, for the big diamond. That was a really good idea. So where are we? Oh, here, here I was going to show you this. Well, I got another big diamond, too. Look at this. This was in swampy stuff. Look at that big diamond. <laughs> it's like a pendant. It's just plastic, but it, it just kind of reminded me of the big diamond thing you were talking about. <laughs> Um, in swampy stuff, there are these really cool, like probably seventies, uh, door knocker earrings and they're, you can just tell they're older, they're enamel, but they're like textured enamel, they're door knockers. Um, they're neat. I just think they're neat until they're vintage. That it's just something like that you would have seen back in the probably 70s. I like those. And now over in Deb's stuff, there was a whole lot of bracelets in both of these lots. A lot of them. I don't see anybody saying anything in the chat. You guys still there? Am I still here? I'm still here. Are you still there? <laughs> This is cool. I like this. I almost want to keep this where it kind of like it's pretty. That's that's like kind of me there. I like that. It's one of Deb's things. Are you there, people? You're still there. Ah, oh, hey. Hey, Princess Casserole. How are you doing? Glad you could be here. So I do like this. It's leather. Um, got the lace filigree lace metal applied thing to it and uh it's nice nicely made and uh i don't know i might keep that that's one neat thing about getting these lots there's always a few things in it that just don't ever make it to my store <laughs> wear that with your harley shirt mm, that would go good with that it would delinda yeah that's cool I mean, it's well made. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. And 
Okay, now swampy stuff. Oh, this is very, very pretty. I was showing um, Carla this. I took a picture of it and sent it to Carla because we were talking. Hey, oh, Deb, did you just get here? Oh, I showed the, your diamond. <laughs> I showed the big diamond. I don't know why I thought you were already here. Showed the big diamond and I showed uh, some a couple things so far. I'm, I'm alternating between you and Swampy's lot. So it's like show one of yours, show one of Swamp's. This is from Swampy's lot, which I think is very, very cute. Um, Swampy said, you know, when he was talking about this lot, he said he thought it would be good for like, you know, the flea market. Like he didn't think it was anything like high end. I mean, he's really talking the lot down when he was talking it. And I was like, man, I don't know, Swampy. I'm betting you don't know a whole bunch, you know. I'm, be I'm betting that that there's good stuff in there, Swampy. Um, so uh, I just took a gamble on it, you know, and I paid paid a good bit for that in the MSP auction. I think I paid, it seems like I paid $170, but I not, I'm not um, unhappy about that because for one thing, it went to the Children's um, Miracle Network, I think, and I know he's gonna give a good portion to that. And for another thing, there was some good stuff in there. This is very cute. You can tell it's an older piece, cameo, real delicate bracelet. Um, I don't remember if I tested this yet or not, but it's a you know filigree bracelet, real dainty. That will definitely sell well in my shop. So there's that of Swampies. Now we'll go to Deb's box. Deb, the Michael Kors you were taught was we're talking about has a stone missing unfortunately oh you're gonna catch the replay do you have to go i thought you oh you mean you'll catch the replay on on the beginning i know i love that cameo bracelet too here's that michael kors that we that she said about unfortunately there's a stone missing dad right there i don't know if i can find one too fix that or not but it it is a cool bracelet that would probably be another one that i would want to keep because that's kind of like me too um that's really a nice bracelet don't know probably be hard to find a nice sparkly crystal to go in there you guys probably would say oh we can find that real real easy <laughs> i'm just not the repair person it's not me but I do like that. It's really nice. I don't know why the stone had to fall out. Yeah. Yeah, it was just the beginning. Okay. It's probably in the bag. Well, there's... A, I, I did go through the bag, but I have to go through it again because there's this much left yet. <laughs> it's just, I think, pieces and parts. But that much, I got to go through again. But I, I still have, like... I have so much over here, so much. Okay, so now over to Swampies. Um, this is a very cute bracelet that was in Swampies. How pretty that is. Is the lighting okay here? I'm sitting on the floor. That's really nice, isn't it? Uh, it's actually got marcasites in it, and I don't think they're faux. I think they're, uh, I can't tell if they're real or, I guess they're faux. Yeah, I guess they're faux. But still, it's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I love the design of that. I got a troll. Alrighty, W-A-R-X. Hold on a second. Okay. Just one second while I take care of the troll. Um, 
do you have a wrench now um carla did i give you a wrench I right, good. I know how to make a wrench now. Carla, you are now a wrench. Ha ha ha. Do it. Yay. Thank you, Carla. Okay, now that was one of Swampies. Let's go over here to Debs. Uh we'll put these all together. There were there were three of these types of, of bangles. Aren't they cute? I love these types of bangles. This one here especially is cute. It has open work open work um colorful primary colors red white and blue actually and some green very cute with the crystals in it or uh, rhinestones don't see any missing uh you know it's not a real old piece but i think i can probably sell it in my etsy shop anyway um it's not marked anywhere it's one of the clamper type bracelets Oh, thank you, Joni. Hey, Joni. Sorry I missed you guys last night. I was Here's what I was doing. I, I could not tear myself away from uh, going through Debbie's jewelry. <laughs> I just couldn't tear myself away from it. It was just, I don't know. It's once, you get, once you get in one of those bags, it's like a drug. <laughs> um, so this... Is uh, one that's kind of a fuchsia color and then this one is another red one um, this one's very cute it looks kind of oriental um, the colors the black the white the red it's pretty I like those <clears throat> um, this these are really neat and unfortunately there's some um, these are swampies fortunately there's some uh, Enamel loss on these. They are signed Matisse. Uh, so they, they would have been really good if they didn't have this damage on. But they still might, you know, they still might sell for, for something. Uh, even with the damage. I'll have to look them up because I think Matisse is a pretty good uh, pretty good mid-century mid maker. You see they have... They're, they're over copper. It's enamel over copper. And they have, you know, some areas like that right there where the enamel has come off. But I like them. I like them. I like the design of them. Am I, am I presenting these too close or too far away or... You'd probably rather just see them down on something, wouldn't you? I can't ever please anybody. It's the story of my life. <laughs> All right, now over to Debs. Oh, these are cool. Yay, enamel loss. I can't. Yeah, I don't know if that can be fixed. You know, I could always put some, like, nail polish on there but I don't know if that would be like a fix that anybody would really want me to do I mean I bet I could probably do it pretty good but yet would anybody want that or not I don't know what do you guys think no Deb says no up close is nice okay I just want to I just want to make sure that you're seeing everything okay hey Julie thrifty paper garden Okay, I probably should get these listed. These were in Debs. Look at these. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'm wearing my big heart earrings. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'd let the buyer decide. Yeah, whether they could yeah, they could do that if they wanted to. Put the uh they could repair them if they wanted to. But somebody probably buy those for Valentine's Day. They're pretty cool, aren't they? They're big enough. Get you noticed. Get you noticed. So they were in there. Dubs. I, I, you know, I'm just, I, I'm trying not to get overwhelmed by all this stuff because 
I don't think I could get this listed in a million years, all the stuff that I have. Try not to think of that. And besides, this stuff, this, this, these purchases, it went for a good charity, you know, and I am having the time of my life. I am having so much fun looking at this stuff. And every time I look at it, I just, it just makes me happy. I got to take my daughter to work. Oh, make, make one more admin before I go. Who wants to be my admin? Oh, Joni said she wanted to. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Carla. Now I know how to do it. Now I know how to do another thing. I did it, Joni. Thank you. Thanks, Joni. So there was a an enamel uh, butterfly in Deb's lot too. It doesn't do anything but just be there and be enamel. It's not flying anywhere. It's not a pin. It's not a hair piece. It's not uh, jewelry. It's just a butterfly. <laughs> That's what it is. So that was in Debs. Oh, along that line, I got to show you something funny that was in Swampies. Where is that? Swampies, where is that? Okay, speaking of really not doing anything except being something. Oh, this is something. I forgot. This is something. It's a big fish belt buckle. This was in Swampies. Now, isn't that something? You think that'll sell? How enormo that is. That's enormo. Deb loves butterflies. I'll knock them out for you. Oh, thank you, Joni. It's awesome. Where my fish belt buckle? <laughs> These past couple days, I've been rather goofy. I don't know what's gotten into me. I think it's the jewelry flu or something. At the jewelry goofies. But that is cool. I like that. I like it. I guess it'll sell. Probably it'll sell. And you, Linda Dunn says that'll sell for sure. What What do you think you'd ask for something like that? I guess I'll just look for comps, but really? Is there going to be a comp on something like that? Jonas Fish. Oh, that's a thought. That's a thought. That's a cool idea. See, Do you see that uh, pastel enamel on there, how pretty that is? Look at those pretty colors on the tail. That's that's pretty nice. Go high. How high? I don't know. How high? Tell me. How high? That's cute. Okay, I'm looking for something in particular that I liked over here in Deb's stuff. No, I don't see it. Oh, here it is. I love that fish. Unique and hard to find. Okay, here's a bangle that I really like. It is signed in here. This is Deb out of Deb's bag. Signed in here, MN, right here on a metal cartouche. And I guess it's resin, probably. I don't know, but I like the way it's made. I like that it has the gold around the... Uh, top and bottom and then it's like the cream colored it's just pretty neat i like it this is well made signed in there i'll have to look that up and see what that is it's a newer piece newer piece but it's chunky and bohoey you got that one too was there another troll or what you got what one too You got that one too. What's that mean, Deb? Um, okay, something from Swamp. 
here's something from Swamp. Here's a 1928 pin. Uh, very pretty. Uh, I didn't think this was marked 1928, but you know, they're not, if you don't have a necklace with a hang tag on, they're not marked. But really do think this is 1928 based on the back of it. It's got that uh, like scroll work design on the back of it. Um, and it's real pretty, like 1928, real ornate. So I am thinking for sure, like that is a 1928 piece. Hey, Chris. Oh, I'm glad you made it. I hope hubby's feeling better. You got the bracelet in your bag too, but it's a little bit narrow. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. Um, so that was in Swampies. These were in Debs, which I really like. These are going to sell, I'm sure. These are actually big giant earrings. They're hoops. They're flattened out at the bottom. They're rounded at the top. Um, they are stainless steel, actually. And uh, they are marked stainless steel on there, up here at the top, on, the, on here. Uh, they're marked something like steel wear or steel city or something i forget what they're marked i read it last night but anyway they're they're marked they have a maker's mark and then also they're marked stainless steel and i i have never seen anything stainless steel that was that color you know the gold color i've only ever seen the silver so that really intrigued me in fact when i first saw them and i saw the all i could see was tiny writing up here i went oh my but they didn't really look like you know real gold but i was like oh my goodness you know i thought maybe they were from me or something but stainless steel's good too they're gonna sell i know they're gonna sell so they were good i like those okay now we'll go to swamp oh this is um i was very very happy to get this because I finally know what real pearls are like on your teeth because once you feel a real pearl on your tooth there's no mistaking the grittiness because apparently this is the first real pearl that I've gotten these um, these are real pearl and sterling uh, bracelet um, I checked them with my tooth and I was like oh my gosh is that ever gritty so I know and other pearls that I've tested before with my teeth that was like, hmm, a little gritty, maybe, maybe, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're thinking, well, it could be, maybe, but no, there was no mistake. And once I put my tooth on there that it, it was like, it was going to be like sandpaper on my tooth. So I know. And uh, that's really cute. Now, somebody that I was talking to said that, they see these around a lot. Do you see these around a lot? I've, I've never seen one before, but maybe they're prevalent. Maybe that's something that uh, is out there. And I don't know what the price would be for those for that, but I like it. I like it a lot. So that was in Swampies. Back to Debs. Let's see here. Let me get something cool out of Debs. Oh, I thought this was pretty. Here's a pretty necklace. Oops, let me see here. It's like this. Three strand necklace that's light blue. Be pretty for spring, I guess. It's got some little crystals, little I keep saying crystals. They're not crystals. They're rhinestones, but scattered through there, there's little blue rhinestones. If you can see them. And um, I thought that was pretty. So that was that. And... 
Oh, okay. And swampy stuff. I really like this too. Um, and Anya or Ag Agner Anya bracelet, which I really like. I think it's really nice. It's like a tortoise bracelet, it's gold tone. Now these these nicer items, I'm gonna you know cherry pick them out and get them listed because I I know that there are some things in here that you know I will list first and there there will be the the nicest pieces. This being one of them because I think this will sell pretty quick. Um, you know the the things that'll sell quicker the ones that I'm gonna list first. Oh, these earrings are really nice. I like these earrings a lot. These were in Debs. Oops. Um, AB stones in uh, a star and a moon, but they're nicely made. They're pierced earrings. They're really nice made. They're not marked anything, but you can just tell they're uh, really nice quality. And there's no, ugh, no stones missing. They have some open work in there. So they'll sell nice. They'll sell good. And um, this is a pretty, pretty bracelet that was in Swampies. like the design of that it's really different it has purple stones in it it's really nice like that you guys must be working while you're while you're watching me every once in a while you look up or something because nobody's making any comments in the chat probably just have me on for background noise <laughs> that's okay oh remember well I'll show these first um, this these were in Debs which I think they're pretty cool they're like boho -y kind of no I think I don't know if they're wood or what they are but they're neat I like the colors in them the striations, um, kind of nicely made, and I keep dropping things on my laptop. Uh, also, in Swampies, Nice pin, uh, pin that looks like a steel cut um, shoe clip. So I thought that was nice. And well, that's please let me go over to Deb's. Or is is uh let me ask you something is Stephen Steph on and are you guys just watching Stephen Steph <laughs> like I don't want to watch Angie Stephen Steph are on <laughs> they're probably on I should, probably shouldn't even be on when they're on but I figured they'd be on all day so these are cute they were in the uh, Debs. 
Because if I don't get any comments, I think people really aren't in interested in watching me. So I'll just I'll just sign off. Here's cute some cute hoops. They're like a seafoam green and gold. They're definitely uh, vintage vintage style hoops. Maybe I need to refresh my chat. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm not seeing uh maybe I'm not seeing you the chat because my my thing was just sitting there going around. So maybe that was the problem. Here's a real long, very, very long strand. Look how long this strand is. It's another like probably definitely vintage. I don't know how old it is, but the, the beads are glass. So you know it's old. Um, it's what it looks like up close. It's pretty. And it has this, somebody added this after afterwards. It's snowing here and people are out running around and sliding around. I hear them outside. So maybe I can't get the chat because my own. Um, I've got a spinning dot, so I don't know what's going on there. Like I said, maybe you guys are talking and I can't see you're talking. Technical difficulties just abound in my life sometimes. But it could be worse. Definitely could be worse. Okay, so that was in Debs. Over here in Swampies. Cool pin. Another little enamel pin. Looks like a carnation. It's got some wear on it. I don't know where that'll be destined for, but uh, it's a good bit of uh, finish wear on the leaves and stuff. Um, there was a lots, lots and lots of bracelets and bangles in both of these lots. Um, you know, these kind of bangles. This one here is very nice. I like that. I like the swirly colors in it. And uh, it's just a gold one, little narrow one, one of these kind. $2.99 on it. And this one. And over in Swampies. This is really nice. And it's got like a $40 tag inside. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. It says $40 in there. Jewel bangle, one size, $40. So I don't think I'll have any trouble selling that. Somebody will want that. It's in nice condition. Um, and then I like this. There was a lot of Christian themed things in Swampy's lot. Lots of things with crosses on and stuff. And there were also lots of uh, um, Fleur de Lis for um, the Saints, I guess, because it was New Orleans type of lot. This is a nice pendant. It's got some little crystal rhinestone type stones as accents in it kind of a florentine finish it's pretty okay let me connect to the internet why am i not connected to the internet 
I hope I'm still connected to the internet here, but I am not on here, so I don't know what, what is up with that. I'm offline, check my connection. I shouldn't be offline. Okay. Whatever. I'm just going to go. Just going to go with it. But I hate not seeing the chat so much. Um, here is a big blingy pendant. This was in Swampies. This is actually glass. And, uh, Kind of cool. Kind of cool. That's nice. That's one of those I pity the fool type necklaces. <laughs> oh, I like this too. This was in Swampies. This is another Lucky Brand piece. And uh, it's really cute. Bracelet. Enameled boho type with this kind of a weave through type of a clasp or type of a fastener. You just weave it through like that. That's a nice piece. Lucky brand. Well made. Nice leather band. And um, Okay, over here to Dad's. Cute little bangle that has purple stones. It's very thin. It's got like purple cabochons, acrylic, I'm sure. But that's cute. Like I said, there was a lot, lot, a lot of bangles. Look, this whole thing, full bracelets. Um. Yeah, there was a, there was a, a ton, a ton of bracelets, and and some nice earrings too. Oh, this is a. Let's see here. <laughs> okay, Tanya messaged me and said she's overloaded with jewelry too. I am trying to get back onto the chat. Dang it. To see what y'all are saying, if you're saying anything, because it's driving me crazy because I feel like I'm here in the dark. I'm in the dark and I don't know what you're saying, but look at this. Connect to the internet. I don't know what the problem is. So, I like this. I like this. Uh, it's got different seed beads and it's got these um square glass pieces some of them look like murano even um very cute very cute necklace like that i think this is amber long amber necklace uh it feels like amber there is no clasp but it does have uh like a fused area. Let me see if I can find that to show you. Debbie Hammer, use the cellular data. Turn the, off the Wi-Fi. Okay, I will try that, Debbie. Because I'm going to leave because I feel like I'm in the dark <laughs> if I can't get it to work because I don't like not being able to know what you're saying. Ah, uh, okay. Somebody just messaged me. We are here, but you can't see the chat. I'm sorry. Oh. Um, I'm glad you're here, Etta. Very glad. Um, turn off the Wi-Fi. Okay, bear with me a minute. Well, the Wi-Fi is on. 
I mean, why should why isn't it why isn't coming up with the um on my YouTube? I just don't understand that. Strange. All kinds of tech technical problems. Let me show you something. Show you some stuff. Sure wish I could see what you were saying. I'm going to cry. Phone. Bracelets. Bracelets while I turn the setting. I turn the Wi-Fi off on the phone. And um, okay, hold on a second. <laughs> bear with me, please bear with me. One moment, please. <laughs> I think I'm getting it. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Ha ha ha. Here's Sandra. Sandra, you're laughing at me? I'm back. You're back. I'm back. Alice Ops is here. Patricia Johnson's here. Sandy's still here. And Shelly's here. And Deb Mitchell's here. Oh, Deb, I hope you're feeling better. Oh, good. Oh, it makes me feel better because I'm like, this is so strange, like you're talking to yourself. I don't, you know what? I don't think I'll ever make another video that is not live because I do not like talking in here to myself. It's so forced and so strange to me. I like this bangle. We love you and you, we wouldn't leave while you're on. Oh, Joni. Thank you. Yay! I like this. It seems well made to me. Um, it has these little symbols on it. There's Florida Lee and uh, little stones around it in Florida Lee. And I just like that. I like the different colors on it. Mm, here's a nice bangle. There's a lot going on on that one. It's one of these kind. And. Sometime I am going to show you the jewelry that's under my bed. <laughs> it's like in it's like in these kind of boxes and it's in other kind of, it's in jewelry boxes, it's in these boxes. It's like waiting to be listed. Oh my goodness. Uh I did like this watch that was in there. I don't I'm not a big watch person, but if if one of them, you know, strikes my fancy, I might I might put a battery in and list it. This is cute. It's different. I like the face of it. I mean, I do not know who wears watches anymore, but you know, that's cute. I like that. I mean, it's not a high end watch, but it's got a leather band. Um, and it's got a pretty face on it. So maybe I'll put a battery in that and sell it. It's pretty. No stones missing in it, and it's got pretty pastel enamel on it who's here dawn is dawn here oh siri siri go away siri came on like i was talking to her or him or whoever he, he comes on like at the most weird moments and the other day i dialed 911 by accident I just, all I did was pick my phone up, and all of a sudden I heard this like, whoop, 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 and here I dialed, it, it, it like dialed 911, and, and, the, and it was just at the time when the people were coming to do our floor again, and the dogs were barking, and there was someone at the door, and I called 911 by accident. All this happened at the same time. <laughs> Hi, Dawn. Okay, enough of my hilarity. Here's a here's a wood bangle. This was in Deb's. Oh, you're new. Hi, oh, Patty Robinson. Thank you, thank you. So you got to watch that with the new iPhone. I I got to turn off the setting for that down nine one one business because I was so embarrassed. And then 
And then I'm like, I, I like hung up quick. And then 911 guy called me back. Are you okay? Is there any problem here? I'm like, oh no, there's no problem here. <laughs> oh, what are we talking about? Portraits. Portrait, cool fun. We get storage where we can. Pocket dial. Oh, you pocket dialed Barb the other day. Twice. <laughs> she thought you were dying. <laughs> this is cute. Faith, hope, and strength. This was in Swampies. And uh, it's got that plate on it. And then it has this um, chain with little beads dangling from it. That was in Swampies. I mean, there's just, I am not going to get overwhelmed. I won't. I refuse to get overwhelmed by the massive amount of jewelry that I have. It's fun. It's fun. It's not overwhelming. It's fun. Right? Here's a really nicely made necklace. Uh... Oh, a oh, portrait is somebody that's in the chat. I was wondering what portrait was. Portrait of the South with Laura Roberts. Hi. Okay. Um, I wear them. Jewelry goofies. Okay. <laughs> Yikes, Dawn. <laughs> you guys are talking to Dawn. Okay, this is a very nicely made choker. It's like multi-strand choker. That was in, uh, I don't know. That might have even been... I think that was Swampies. Yeah, that might have been Swampies. I think I'm back here in a box that's like mixed up. So let me get out of that box. And into... Show you... Some earrings that were in Debs. That I think are kind of cute. They're purple teardrop extends, and then it, they're they're attached with a little string like the top, which I think is kind of a nice touch. And you know they're sizable, and they have the uh, fish hook. And then there's these cool beads. They're they've got some age to them. They're glass beads. Um, they're vintage. I uh, like they're a nice shape. They've got the nice vintage clasp and like that. They're pretty. Nice bright color red. Clasp works nice. There's no finish wear. Don't know when they might be from their their um knotted, knotted between the beads. Angie just woke my fur baby up. Hello, hello. Oh, your fur baby. I woke your fur baby up. I probably did <laughs> by making that siren noise or something. <laughs> what else do I want to show you? I know that, like, I'm not going to be able to show you everything because there's just too much. There's too, too much. But I want to show you the cool things. I want to make sure I show you the coolest things. But there's so many cool things, too, that I'm going to miss stuff. going to miss stuff. Uh, these earrings are very pretty. I like two-tone earrings. Uh, and these are really nice. Um, they're gold and silver. Gold outlined with silver filigree inside. And they have fish hooks. These were in, these might have been in Mama J's lot, but I just think they're really pretty. They're well made too. You see the profile of them. They have some depth to them and they're really nice. So they're nice. I like those. Um, where is that crystal stuff? Oh, these things. This is really, this was in Swampies. Love this. Um, I was happy because there's some true vintage. Do they match those big hearts? What do you mean that, what, what match the big hearts? I 
I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Jackie. Um, look, look how beautiful this is. This is true vintage. I was like, I was getting ready to say, I'm, I was really happy that Swampy's had some true vintage stuff in. Uh, this has earrings to match. They are screw back earrings, but they're sterling. But look how beautiful this is. It's crystal, a crystal star. And it hangs from, I, I'm pretty sure this is a sterling chain. It's all blackened, um, like sterling. But this thing is really cute. Um, where am I? Where am I? There I am. Do you see how, see how that is fastened on there? And the, just the sparkliness of it and how big it is and just the it's awesome it's an awesome vintage delicate yet you know different antique probably piece and then it's got the little earrings to match that's a prism star is that what it is okay and here's the earrings that match it So they're like that. And they're all blackened too because they're sterling. And they say sterling on the on that right there, they say sterling. But um I don't know when they're from, but I do know they're they've gotta be old. Then there's also a teardrop, uh, I think it's a briolet type uh necklace too that's the same type of deal and it's uh it's iridescent now the this star was like just plain crystal now this is iridescent this one is has a little color to it seems to be oh it's so pretty with the light hitting it where am i Can you see all the fiery colors in that? That is so pretty. So that was in Swampies, too. Diamond. Your clock, Angie. Geese. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's up here. <laughs> My, um. Oh, is that what, is that what the dogs were barking at? My aunt had that when I was little. I always tried to accidentally take it home with me. The clock. So let me see. I don't know. This is probably cheap, but I like it. It was in Deb's bag. It's a bangle and it's uh, metal and it has this design on a real colorful design. It's very cute. I like the design on it. I like the colors. What's it say on it? Uh, design? No. Designal? Designal? How can that how can that be right? D-E-S-I-G-N-A-L. Designal. Doesn't seem right, but I think that's what it says there. That it's pretty. I love the colors. I love that it's colorful. And uh that was in Deb's. Pretty. This was in Deb's. It's uh it was marked. And then it was marked out, but on here it says $13. I read it even though it's marked out. So it's a stretchy um, bangle. It's kind of a matte, a matte finish on it. Let's see here. Let's go over here to Swampy's or soon. Debs. These are really pretty. Um, these are Sarah Coventry. Um, there are these, I think they're newer Sarah Coventry as opposed to like 
60s, maybe their 70s or I don't know, because they're in really, really nice shape on the back. Uh, there's no wear, and then there's black ones too. So there's the clear ones, and then there's the black ones with a rope, rope design around the edge. And this in here is acrylic. Yeah, that's acrylic in there in the middle. These are really pretty. Love these. Um, they have like a, a mill grain um, detail around each of the stones to make it even more sparkly. There's no missing stones or anything. They're just dome, dome earrings. But I don't know if you can see how sparkly they are, but they're real sparkly and real pretty. A nice wearable size in their clips. And they're in really nice shape. But they're not marked anything. But still, they're... Wonder why she can't see our comment. I can see them now, Sandra. I can see them now. I had to go. Um, Deb, actually, Deb's treasures told me what to do. I had to go out of uh, Wi-Fi. I mean, yeah, I had to go out of Wi-Fi and get on my cellular. I don't know why. Here's a pretty neat necklace. It's really different. It's got double type of chain, kind of like a box chain. And then it's got these colored beads in between the box chain and box chain down below Just like that it's long and got some nice jewel tone colors in it I'll uh, catch you later. Got to go. Thanks, Angie. Okay, Jackie, thank you for coming. Milgrain, there's a good descript descriptive word. Thank you, Alice Ops. I learned that not too not too long ago because I used to say bead textured, but then I, you know, I study my jewelry books and, and look for new terms to use, and that was one of them, bead textured. So milgrain sounds a little better than bead textured, um, so I've been using that. NVM. Okay, I missed I'm missing that. Debbie, Debbie sending me some texts. Uh this is a cute mesh bracelet. Not real high quality though, but I do love the mesh. I love the mesh, but it's like a medium, medium quality probably. This was in Debbie's. It's cute. Panther. Like a panther necklace. It's got pink stones, black eyes, silver tone. And it's cute. I like that. And in Swampies, I think it was Swampies or else it was Mama J's. There was some nice rhinestone jewelry, but unfortunately it had missing stones. So I'm going to keep those in case I ever need any baguettes or stones that I can harvest them. Although I don't do that very often, but if I do come across a really special piece, I can at least know I have some baguettes and stuff to use. Okay, I need to find... There was some really pretty sterling um, sterling earrings I want to find to show you that was in Debbie's lot. 
Let's find those. Oh, I know where they're at. Thought I did. These are nice. Um, these are like Sterling and CZs, and they are pierced. They have the bar at the top, and they they're well made and they're Sterling. They they're hinged like that. And they close like that and snap really nice together. And so they're marked sterling. No stones missing. And they actually do have baguettes too in them. So those are nice. I like those. That was a nice nice uh, earrings to find in that in Debbie's bag I can see the chat I can see it okay so here is some really cute uh, really cute dangle earrings that have marcasites he had a really nice Jafari sword brooch that was missing a huge pendant peridot bang, baguette, or you could have doubled what you got for it. I assume the person had a stone to replace it. Oh, I see there's a pearl missing up there. I didn't notice that before. Hmm. Okay, let's see. The cute cute ring that was in Debbie's. I know there's so much stuff that I am not showing you that I should be showing you. <laughs> These are rhinestone earrings. They're kind of cute, have a cute design. There's no stones missing. Um, they're pierced. They're, they're pretty cute. They're articulated. This is what they look like on the back. They have some age to them, and I think I can sell those pretty easily. Somebody's going to want those. I like them. They're pretty. They could be like, I don't know, prom, prom earrings or something. In Swampies, there was this. It's a beaded, long beaded necklace. It's kind of uh, got this bead thing on it, seed bead tie thing on it, or what? I don't know what you call that. But that was on there, and I think it's got some kind of a hang tag on it, so it's like some kind of a maker's mark is attached to it. Please show the diamond ring. Hey, Barb. Angie, save some for later. Okay, because I have been on a long time. 2.40 on the East Coast. Barbara. It looks like a fabulous lot <laughs> from Deb. It was. And Thelma, I have to go through it again. I have to go through this again because there's still this much left that I need to, like I perused it really quick, but I need to like fine tune, fine go through it. I need to go because you guys are getting bored. I'm getting tired. I need a drink. And what was I going to say? Show the diamond ring again. Here's the di big diamond that, that Debbie told me that was in there. She said, I predict there's a big diamond ring in there. And this is what it was. <laughs> so really clever of her to put that in there and get me all excited. I said, oh, maybe she saw something in there. This is what it was. <laughs> You're not bored at all. Oh, yeah, I'm on the East Coast. Right now it is 20 till 3 here on the East Coast. <laughs> She's so funny, that Debbie. You aren't bored? Well, 
I just, you know, after I've been on for like an hour, I'm thinking, oh, these people probably need a break. Excuse me. <laughs> Pity the fool. You're funny. <laughs> we love Angie. Oh, thank you, Joni. Joni, I'm sorry I missed you last night. I did get to see some of you last night, but not, not very much. This is cute. It's a little choker. A little... A little necklace that has rhinestones in it. I just don't want to be on, you know, I don't want to wear out my welcome. Be on too long. Too often, too long. Here's some cool earrings. Seed beads. Bugle beads, I guess. With these rhinestones at the top. They're pierced. Pierced. This is a Trafari pendant, a real big Trafari pendant, but I don't have the chain that it goes on. But that's no problem because I have lots of chains that I could put that on. Never enough and never bored. Well, that's good. I, I, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I mean, if you're not bored, I can go on a little longer. I just worry that I'm, you know, that I'm going on too long. And I don't know if you're, if there's a rule like you're supposed to cut it off at an hour or whatever. And I have no idea how long I've been on. Probably at least an hour. Does it say on here how long I've been on? I don't know if it says somewhere or anywhere or not. This is pretty. Uh, this was from Swampy's Lot. And it's pretty well made really sparkles uh, i love the colors red purple blue uh double chain double strand fairly long fairly long not real long not real short but pretty colors don't worry we never tire of you angie oh tish is here steve and steph are on too we can switch it switch it up a bit i knew they were on i hate being on when they're on I just feel like i'm oh no what do i want to say i feel like i'm a traitor or something <laughs> being on when somebody else is on this is a pretty bracelet that was in swampies it's cute it's textured links with these like stylized well they're not really it goes this way i guess you can see the the veins and the leaves if you do this it's got leaves that's pretty i like that and it's it's not signed but it's well made it's a well made piece and it has the toggle toggle clasp like that so i like that piece a lot um, okay, let's pick something from Deb's area over here. Um, come on. I know there's some good stuff in here. What always happens is I after I'm after I'm already off, I'll see something that Oh, I should have showed that. Why didn't I show that? Here's a pretty necklace somebody made. Um, it's very nice because these beads are all like glass beads. They're nice quality beads. Um, it has this on it. It has a nice, a nice hook, hook up here for the clasp. And... I mean, even for the beads, I would say that that would be nice to have. Those beads are very nice, very pretty colors. And then there's these earrings that are interesting and pretty. They're like a satin finish, pastel pink and blue. And they are clip-on earrings. They're not marked. They're gold tone. They're in really nice shape. 
and they're cute. They're cute for summer. With some pastel, other pastel jewelry. They're like a satiny um, enamel. And this big ring, uh, it's marked sterling, and I have no idea what this stone is, but this really interesting stone in there. It's uh, kind of it's not it's not mother of pearl. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's just some kind of plastic. Maybe it's resin. But it it's real iridescent and it's real pretty. And it's got it's got a maker's mark in it. It it not only says like 925 but there's also some maker's mark in it which I forget what it is right now. I did look at it earlier. I know I can't see it right now. It's a pretty cool ring. Pretty big and blingy. Oh, here's one I decided to keep because I thought it was pretty and it fits me. And I liked it. And it's, you know, it's nothing high end or anything, but I just thought I liked it. I liked the design of it and I decided to keep it. That was in Mama J's lot of rings and stuff. She had a lot of rings and she had a lot of necklaces and bracelets and newer stuff in hers which I didn't really show you very much of hers. And I should have. I didn't. So in Debbie's lot, there were four of these type of bracelets. Four of these stretchy ones. I'll be waiting to see what jewelry, too. It looks nice. How big? I love that. Hip, hip, hooray. Is that a bracelet? Wow. More like five hours, but a long time. They are trying to move that clothing line. Oh, okay. I'm like reading up the chat instead of down the chat, so. <coughs> Cute little bracelet. This was in Debbie's. Nice bracelet here in uh, Swamp's Lot. Swampy's Lot. This is really pretty. If I can get it straightened out, ever. Here. Isn't that pretty? I just love things that are like, I don't know. I like things like that. It's got, the, it's got gold. It's like um, matte colored gold. And then it has, you know, some stones going down the middle. It's like four different, um, no, five different uh, strands. It's a wide bracelet. Then it has the toggle clasp. So it's fairly wide. I like that. It's lightweight, though. Here's a very pretty necklace. Oh, here's a necklace. Oh, this is neat. Like this. A really nice stone on it. Got a heavy, I mean, you know, it's like a stone, a real stone down here. Don't know what kind of stone it is. It's fauceted, uh, polished, natural stone. I don't know if it's agate, 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 whatever you say, but that is a pretty stone. It's prettier here because it looks really golden here. Uh, it looks washed out on this on my screen, but it's like a real golden color, and and then it's got this real nice chunky chain, and you can adjust it by this big um, lobster claw clasp, like that long like that. So there's that. I'm gonna buy that. Is it yellow? What books do you use to research, or do you do it all online? Hi, C.T. Coburn. Um, I have a favorite book. I'll show it to you when we, when we leave. It's up here on the top of this uh, piece of furniture. But it's a, I have like, I don't know, five, four, four books, five books maybe. But I have a favorite one, and I'll show it to you. But I do a lot of it online, too. A lot of research online also. Oh, remember that when Swampy did his uh, auction, remember all the coin stuff that was in that, that he kept showing? 
there was some nice coin pieces, nice coin jewelry in there. Uh, so I will show you that. Here is a necklace, a coin in it. It was like three different pieces of coin jewelry. So that, you know, I just think coin jewelry is very rich looking. Love coin jewelry. This is this is very nice. This is rich looking. I think the lighting's getting kind of bad, isn't it? I have a huge collection too, Angie. Do ya? Beautifully shaped stone on that pendant. It was, wasn't it? Um, this is really pretty. If you can see, the light's kind of bad now. I'm going to probably sign off just because the light's getting so bad. See that? It's really nice. It's really, really nice. Um, it's not signed or anything, but it's, it's really nicely made. No finish wear. Um, just really rich looking necklace. No stones missing. Um, got a nice clasp on it. Different kind of clasp, too. Oh, this is another clasp that's really different. Forget how that opens. Oh, like this. See this clasp? And it opens like this. Back like that. And, uh... How did that open? Um, oh, okay. You undo that and then and then you undo the hook like that. And then you hook it back up. And you hook it back up. Okay, you hook it back up and then you fold that clasp over like that. I'm not going to do it because my hands will shake. It'll take me five minutes, so I'm not doing it. That was very nice. And the last piece of... Uh, coin jewelry is a longer piece and it has that pendant on it there and these were in swamps massive massive box that box was huge and then on top of that box was that cake and I opened it up and that cake was in there hey Dwayne how are you I'm so sorry I missed the auction you know what I was doing I was mesmerized in a big box of jewelry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did catch some of it, but then my my internet was bad. So I don't know what happened. This is very nice. This was out of Swampies. Love that. That was out of the big uh, auction win of Swampies. Love that bracelet. Very pretty. Very much a statement bracelet. Nicely made. Big enough for a, you know, nice size wrist. LOL, no problem. I did save money. <laughs> and I mean to tell you, I don't need any more jewelry. I just, I have to breathe. And the jewelry is like starting to come in over my face. It's starting to come in like, and smother me. <laughs> it's starting to... It's starting to get me. <laughs> I, I I love it, but it's start. I'm trying not to get overwhelmed. It's really trying not to get overwhelmed. Um, I keep telling myself I'm happy. You know, I'm, 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 I'll list it when I list it. You know, this is cute. This was Swampy's. It's Florida Lee. There was a whole bunch, like I said, of Florida Lee stuff because it was, you know, um, New Orleans lot. And this is like a segment, segmented bracelet. It's very well made. It has the Florida Lee on it. Very dainty, very nice, very nice neck uh, bracelet. Angie, did you love the cake? I need another one. Um, I love the icing a lot, and I, I saw all the different flavors on there, and I'm like, oh, cream cheese. That would have been the ticket, but it was good. Yeah, it was good. I ate, I ate the whole thing. Um, <laughs> my husband ate a little bit of it, but he, I ate most of it. 
most of it, like nine tenths of it. <laughs> Here's a rhinestone bar pin. I think that's out of Deb's, maybe. I'm not sure. That's just a simple rhinestone bar pin. Um. Here's another um, Fleur de Lee pin that has some stones in it. And there were actually two of these, but one of them was missing stones. This one is not. So there's some scattered stones in there. Um, oh, the fish. I love this fish. Oh, hi, Ida. I <laughs> love you, woman. Love you, too. You ate 85% of yours, too. <laughs> okay, the fish. This is cool because guess what? There's like a secret compartment in the fish. Yeah. There's a secret compartment in the fish. So I'm not sure why, but look at this. Put, you pull this little thing here. And it pops up like that. So, you know, maybe this is Jonas Jonas fish. But, yeah, I don't know why, but there it is. And there's a hole in the fish. And then it, it, it snaps down and snaps together, back together real good. But this is a very cute piece. Very cute articulated fish you don't see this thing every day i betcha i've never seen one like it i looked online i had i didn't find any like it and it has these little has little um filigree pieces hanging from it too it's got lots of detail on it i love it man i love that thing that is beautiful that is really nice now i don't know if the I don't think it's original to this chain because the chain is very shiny. The fish is not as shiny, but you know, you could probably find a better chain if you wanted to. Poison pill. Okay. LOL. Angie taught me G U D. What, what are you doing? Oh, the articulated. Yeah. It's yeah. Articulated. You could say articulating. Like if he's swimming around, you could say he's articulating, but he's articulated. <laughs> Here's a big matte uh, finish pin. It's marked on the back something. Something I never saw before. Some kind of designer. <laughs> I can't read it. M I. It, it's got some kind of designer back there. I a name that I'm not familiar with, but it's it's a nice high end piece. I would say, nice piece. Looks like an '80s piece. And here's another one that's marked. Uh, I think this one's Trafari. I'm getting hot. I. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to go. I think I've been on here for hours. Awesome fish, I know. Dwayne's so smart. <laughs> He's so smart. <laughs> this is something that uh, I saw when Swampy was holding up the, the stuff. I saw this, and I'm like, that's nice. That's a mid-century piece for sure. It's a, an old locket. Old locket with etching on it. I think I'm going to go, you guys. I, I have a lot of stuff that I didn't show you, but I can always save some. You know, I can always save it for, for another day, right? So thank you all for coming. And um, be blessed. Have a great rest of your day. Go watch Steve and Steph. See what they're into. And um, thank you. Thanks. Um, be kind when you're picking. And check you later. Thank you for the subs and um, the kind comments and all that stuff. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.